Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about peking for freediving. We're going to talk about why freedivers do peking, how they do it, why they do it and why you should not probably doing this. If you're first time here on this channel, my name is Sergey. I'm a freediving instructor trainer and on this channel I'm sharing with all of you everything what I personally know about freediving. Alright guys, peking. Uh, so first of all, like what it is. Remember on one of my previous videos we was discussing different lung volumes and we was talking about so-called TLC, total lung capacity. It is the amount of air which you have in your lung after you finish your final maximum inhalation. So when you're using all of your respiratory muscles and you inhale as much air as possible, this is a maximum amount of air which you can inhale. So this is a, what the books of physiology says. However, freedivers are smart people and they find out how to take more air from the atmosphere into their lungs. So let's say a freediver make a full maximum inhale and then let's say the glottis is closed and freedivers use the jaw to create some negative pressure in their mouth and then pack this air into the lungs. And this is why such technique calls packing because we try to pack more air into your lungs like after we already reach its maximum maximum capacity, right? So why freedivers do it? Uh, there are two reasons. First of all, it's gonna help to equalize much deeper. For example, if you're talking about mouse fuel equalization, then it can help you to take your mouse fuel, to charge your mouse fuel at a greater depth. And the second, obviously, when you're packing, you take extra air into your lungs, it means you're taking uh, extra oxygen. So sounds like a good idea. And of course, both of these ideas are great. So this is why packing, of course, is a good technique. This technique will allow highly experienced freedivers to dive even deeper and hold their breath even longer. However, guys, since I'm thinking that most of my students, like relatively beginner freedivers, like slash intermediate freedivers, then my strong opinion that you in particular completely don't need this technique. So first of all, let's come back to the first reason why freedivers do packing is like to have equalization at a greater depth. If you could not equalize with a frenzy deeper than 30 meters and you're thinking that you need to use packing, it means your frenzy technique is really, really bad. It doesn't mean that you need just bring extra air with packing. It means your control of your muscles, which involved in the equalization, you, you doesn't have this control. Maybe it is a glottis problem, uh, maybe some tongue position problem, many problems can be the reason, but it's definitely not a solution to just bring more air into the lungs. So it's absolutely the way to cut the corners, it's absolutely not the correct way to improve your frenzy. So just keep working on your frenzy. If you have an issue with equalization, you couldn't equalize deeper than 35 meters, uh, don't pack. Just work out on your frenzy equalization, just general basic frenzy, and then you for sure are going to be able to dive deeper with it uh, after a while. The second one, let's say mouse feel. How deep are you planning to take your mouse feel? Like if you're charging your mouse feel at 20 meters, this is already going to be super deep dive if you have a good uh, glottis control, if you have a good uh, soft palate control, if you have a good relaxation, etc. etc. So if we are talking, let's say about, I don't know, the such free diver as Alexei Molchanov who diving like crazy 130 meters, okay, maybe for Alexei, it's definitely benefit to take extra air with packing and then like do the mouse feel, charge the mouse feel much deeper and then reach this crazy 130 meters. But don't think about Alexei, think about yourself. How deep you free diving? More likely you free diving like maximum maybe 50 meters, right? Okay, again, uh, since I know that most of my free divers like relatively beginner, it's probably not even 50, so probably it's 30 and 40 meters. Like if you like already learned how to do the mouse feel and, you pr and you're planning to use the mouse feel for such depths, for 30, 40, 50, even for 60 meters, it's absolutely not necessary. Like my personal experience, I diving like 70 meters, like last trip to my Philippines. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, like more chance to train depths. I was able to dive to 70 meters without packing. 
So this is why I can't say for sure if you're diving less than 60 meters, like even maybe less than 70 meters, the packing is not necessary. You can reach the same depths just working on your equalization, working on your glottis control, working on your soft palate control, different muscles, work on your relaxation, on your technique, etc. etc. And, uh, and you're gonna be able for sure reach a bigger depth without packing. Uh, another the reason why people do packing is have extra air and this is why it's have extra oxygen. Again, coming back to my personal experience, let's say uh, the dive to 70 meters, I'm not hypoxic. So if I'm not hypoxic, it means I still don't really need to have extra oxygen, right? So if you're diving again less than 50 meters, you're not supposed to become a hypoxic if you have a good technique, good relaxation, good kicking if you do constant weight or good pulling, uh, good relaxation, good equalization again, and then you're not going to be hypoxic. So instead of like not thinking and not working on your technique and just taking extra air, it's again, it's my opinion, it doesn't make sense. So if you just don't like to work on your technique and you want to spend more time under the water, then just do scuba diving. Just take these two big scuba tanks uh, or one big scuba tanks on your back and then it's kind of like, you're good. Now you can spend as long as you want underwater. And guys, you may ask me or yourself, like what is so bad about packing that Sergey or maybe other instructors say that you need to be careful with it. There is a many ways what uh, can go wrong with packing. You can damage your lungs, you can damage the lung with the packing even on like a dry training. Some people crazy enough that they do packing and they do stretching. Again, if you're a high level athlete or maybe you know some high level athlete who doing this, maybe it's gonna be possible because again, they already have a like long time adaptation and they have maybe much better relaxation than you, they have a much better flexibility than you, etc, etc. So this is why these high level free divers can get away um, like by doing this and not having actually lung squeeze. However, if you as a beginner start doing packing and start maybe even stretching while you pack, then guys, the chances of you having lung squeeze is just rising. And there is no actual benefit. If you're diving relatively shallow, like what is the benefit for you to, to do a stretching while you pack, like after you finish your packing? What is the benefit? What exactly benefit do you think you're gonna have? If you are diving shallower than 40 or 50 meters and you do packing and lungs and stretching, just please let me know in comments uh, why do you think it's going to be beneficial? What exactly, which part of your body is going to benefit from it? I'm pretty sure you don't know because there is no such benefit for you. Again, if you are already like diving really deep, if uh, general stretching already allowing you to like have a good mobility and flexibility, okay, then you always can like step up the challenge and maybe, again, some people do, some people don't, start doing packing uh, and stretching. However, again, it can be risky. In fact, you can even have a blackout only because of the packing. Because when you're packing, you're gonna compress your circulatory system and you're gonna compress some artery which lead the blood to your brain and then you can actually have a long, uh, and you can actually have a blackout without holding your breath, right? So it calls packing blackout. There are many other like reasons. So for example, if you do packing, and then you have mammalian die reflex, then the chance of the lung squeeze is gonna be higher or the chance of shallow water blackout on like close to the surface also can be higher because kind of the same what we just discussed with the packing blackout. If you pack and then you do your dive, you have mammalian die reflex, now more fluid, more liquid is gonna be in your lungs and when you ascending, then your lungs is going to be expanding to its previous size, but now you also have mammalian die reflex. Okay, now there is a chance that again your artery is going to be compressed and you can have a uh, blackout on ascent or maybe even on the surface. So this is why guys, again, to summarize, packing is a great technique, great tool, which highly experienced freedivers can and maybe should use to achieve these tremendous results. 
However, guys, if at this particular moment you are not high level free diver, if you are still diving relatively shallow, if you are maybe only a few months into the free diving, or maybe you're already a couple of years, but you're not training regularly, then please don't do packing. And one more thing for those of you who are still watching, like recently I've heard like pretty funny thing. I've heard such thing as, for example, if you do packing, you need to, of course, slowly increase the amount of packs. And the recommendation was, okay, like uh, every month you can increase by one or two packs. And does this make sense? Kind of yes in the beginning because you're thinking, okay, one, two packs uh, per month is not that much. But then the question is how much you practice during these months. So if you're training every single day and you do packing like a few times per week, okay, maybe each month you can add one or two packs. But if you're training like once per week, then in one month you're going to have only four sessions. There is no way that it's going to be a good idea to increase your packs even further because it's not what you need to do at this moment. So guys, one more time, uh, packing is good tool, however, like for intermediate slash advanced freedivers, not highly level freedivers, it's absolutely not necessary, it's potential dangerous and not giving you like direct benefits. Uh, what to do instead, instead just focus on your technique, focus on your relaxation, focus on your equalization and long-term adaptation. So this is a key, long-term adaptation. And then you can reach your results just maybe a little bit later. However, it's going to be safer. All right, guys, this is it. Uh, thank you for watching this video till the end. I hope this video was useful. Don't forget to click the like button if it was useful. And I will see you next time.